Surely you felt pain one day, and wished you were a superhuman who did not feel pain, but do you really think that is a wonderful thing? Follow with me to find out. Pain is an annoying feeling that results from injuries, burns or malfunctions of the body. It is basically a symptom and not a disease in the sense that it alerts the body to the presence of a problem in a specific place in the body therefore, pain is considered a means of protection and alerting the body to know whether there is a problem in a specific place in the body or not. Let me explain to you how pain occurs before answering the episode's question. Pain is an unpleasant sensation that results from stimulating pain receptors in various tissues of the body, causing them to release chemicals called neurotransmitters or also known as neural signals. These receptors send neural signals to the spinal cord and the cerebral cortex, where they are processed, interpreted, and converted into signals that carry the sense of pain. Pain can be acute or chronic, depending on the type, duration, and intensity of the stimulus. Pain plays an important role in protecting the body from harm and alerting it to the presence of injury or disease. But in some cases, pain can become bothersome and distressing and affect the quality of life. You probably have a good idea of the consequences of losing the sensation of pain, but allow me to elaborate on it for you. As I explained before, pain is a protective and warning mechanism for the body. Without the sensation of pain, you would be unaware of the damage or injury to your body caused by diseases or fractures. This could result in severe outcomes such as death or gangrene or limb amputation due to improper treatment of fractures. Also some sources of burns, such as hot showers, hot foods, or injuries from nails or glass, may not be immediately noticeable. Pain is a protective mechanism that discourages us from engaging in behaviors that damage our bodies, such as consuming harmful foods that irritate our digestive system. Surely you are wondering whether there are actually people who do not feel pain. The answer is yes. People who have this condition do not experience pain because they have a mutation in a gene known as SCN9A. This gene is responsible for making a protein named NAV1.7, which is essential for sending pain signals to the brain. The mutation in the SCN9A gene stops the formation of NAV1.7 in people with SIP. This may sound odd, but there are documented cases of people with this condition. Now that you know all that, do you wish you didn't feel pain? Share it with us in the comments. We appreciate your support for our channel. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy our content and want to see more from us.